Election day edges closer and closer. South Africans again welcoming politicians into their homes. COPE President Musiwa Legota receiving a warm welcome from residents in Sibuking. He's emphasized his commitment to tackle the water and infrastructure challenges faced by residents. The party launched its election manifesto last month, promising economic inclusion, housing and an end to infrastructure challenges for municipalities led by the party. Now the party is bringing the message to the people. I promise you, you'll see the difference. I will, I'm still in parliament in Cape Town, but I will have men and women here who will get instructions from us what to do, how to do it, and so that the people can have water, they can have housing, they can have all that. No water, no electricity, gravel roads, unemployment, a sewage crisis are but a few of the challenges that plague the Sibuking community, issues that COPE believes it can resolve. Service delivery remains a concern for residents in Sibuking. Many of them, whilst eligible to vote, say they opt not to, after numerous disappointments by the ANC-led government in Mfuleni. The main concern for residents, the sewage crisis that is yet to be tackled. There is a lot of sewage spillage here. It's not even safe for our children. They are in danger, especially when it rains. Our children can't even swim. They have failed us. Our councillors have seriously failed us. In its report on the state of the Val River, the South African Human Rights Commission found that the source of water for about 19 million people is polluted beyond acceptable levels. It's called on Cabinet to intervene. The sewage crisis is life-threatening. Tackling this crisis is top of the agenda for the National Freedom Party. We are promising the people of South Africa, in particular of this ward, that should they give us the opportunity, they will see change. We want, we want them to see a difference between a ward that is led by the NFP and, and, and other wards. Um, there are a lot of challenges here. People have spoken openly, saying that they don't see a reason for them to vote. And we are saying to them, this is the opportunity to change that perception that uh, voting is useless. Both COPE and the NFP hope to sway the electorate after dwindling support in recent elections. Zoleka Kotashe, SABC News, Johannesburg.